Hi, I'm Kate Dillingham, and welcome to Musicians Who Cook. My good friend Reva asked me to send in a recipe of uh, one of my favorite dishes, which is uh, linguine alla vangole, or linguine with clams. And um, so I'm gonna make that for you. Come over here and see my, uh, my ingredient list here. I've got my pasta, my linguine. I've got my, uh, my Pinot Grigio wine, nice minerally wine, olive oil, whole black peppercorn, garlic, Italian parsley, and the most important thing, those are called little neck clams and they are very fresh. They come right here from Long Island. So we start with boiling a big pot of water. It's boiling, boiling, boiling. And I need some salt to throw in the water. There goes my salt. So here goes the pasta. Okay, and we're gonna cook this pasta till it's just before al dente, because the important thing we do is we cook the pasta in the sauce. All right, I'll meet you on the other side. Come, come. Look at the pasta. So it should be kind of like you see the little bit of the bubbles there and the stuff that looks like starch. Now I'm gonna take this little handy thing and I'm gonna drain some of that nice starchy water into my, try to do this carefully, into my um, cup measure so that I reserve the liquid. Then I'm gonna drain the pasta into that strainer. And I'm gonna immediately, immediately, immediately douse it with cold water so we don't cook it any longer. We want it to be kind of sort of rubbery because it's gonna cook in the sauce. All right, so while that's happening there, the next part, I wanna talk a little bit about my garlic. So when you take the garlic out, you wanna peel it, but don't crush it because if you crush it, it will make the clams bitter. So we'll slice it like this in edges and then make it nice and thin, okay? Now this over here is a bay leaf, very important. This is Italian parsley, which I give just like a nice, I take the stems off and give it a nice rough chop. Uh, we'll talk about, this is a Pinot Grigio. You can also use a, a um, Gavi. That's a more expensive wine, but this is not expensive at all and tastes good and brings out the nice minerally quality of the clam. All right, so here we go. Fire in the plate, in the pot. Like medium. And we take our olive oil. Lots of olive oil, be generous with the olive oil. And then we're gonna take our bay leaf, our couple of sprigs of this. Shapes of the black pepper and the garlic. And we'll let that do its thing. We don't want it to smoke or anything, just to get it soft. Um, and then we're going to put our clams in. That's the fun part. Kind of. Oh, and make sure that when you get your clams, that they're nice and clean. These ones are extremely clean. Rinse them in the same. And then you want to make sure that they're all closed. If you get an open clam, you do not eat it. The other really important thing. And now I'm going to put my starchy water in there. generous with the wine. And then I'm gonna put my parsley in there. And then I'm gonna put the lid on it. Now I have to tell you that Riva, my old buddy Riva, I have known since the eighth grade. 
<laughs> and Riva is a flutist, as everybody knows. I'm a cellist. And um, we played chamber music together. She was one of my very first colleagues of the chamber music experience. And another little story about Riva, when I graduated from high school, we had a senior independent project. And my project was to perform a recital. And I composed a piece that Riva and I played together. So, Riva, love to you. I'm gonna see what's in the pot. Now, they're almost all the way open. We want them to be a little bit more open than that. And boy, does it smell good. What do you think? Does it smell good? All right, so I'm gonna give it another 30 seconds. By the cookbook. <laughs>